Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a tousled waves tutorial using my Hot Tools one and a half inch curling iron. Not to be confused with my two inch curling iron. That's the other video I made that was um, for the big curls. This is the smaller curls with the smaller um, curling iron. So, first of all though, I all I did was blow dry my hair. I used my big brush, love this brush. This is from Ulta. It's Olivia Garden Ceramic and Iron Ion Brush. So, love this brush, go get it. And then I did use this um, Amica Velvet Dream um, Smoothing Balm. So I put this on my hair when it was wet before I blew it dry. And then, um, all right, let's get started. So the first thing I like to do is just divide my hair um, take this two side parts, get my little banana clip, hello, and um, put both of your sides up. Now, I, um, I, oh, this looks, this look looks good parted in the middle, but personally, I don't like my hair parted in the middle. For some reason, I look weird, but if you want, part your hair in the middle first, um, and then get started. Now, what I like to do is I like to start at the back. So just grab a piece um, from the back, just like that. And then, oh, I use my wet brush. I showed you this before. I love this wet brush so much. It's from, what is it? there you go, wet brush from like CVS or Walgreens or whatever. Um, brush it out, because you want your hair brushed out before you curl it. So taking your hair, taking a back piece, leave this little end part out at the end, because you don't want it looking all like ringlets, no. That is a no. So um, just start at the back. And for the most part, I curl my hair back. But every once in a while, I'll take a section and move it, curl it forward. Some people alternate back forward. I don't do that. Um, but I'll do, I'll throw a couple in there that are forward, um, facing forward. So, and again, so take it out, leave that last part out so that it's straight on the ends and you just go one by one, each section, curling it. It's the easiest thing, it takes no time at all, and it lasts a couple days. It was so funny, the other day, I was I was at my daughter's volleyball game, and one of the moms is like, oh my gosh, did you get your hair done? Your hair looks so good. I'm like, uh, no, I just washed it and curled it. <laughs> so then I thought, well, I better show a video on it. But um, it's amazing um, how you can look when you actually do your hair. So, um, Anyways, I thought, okay, I'm gonna do this. I haven't done this yet. Okay, look at that. I don't think, I think I have one left. I'll move, I'll go this towards me. So kind of, today I'm kind of alternating forward and back. But um, it's so easy, oh my gosh. It takes nothing, no time at all. So then you just, that side's done. Just let it sit there. Then moving on to the other side. So again, I like to start with the back and move forward. And, um, and it's just like that, forward and back. There you have it. Oh my gosh, um, if you have not seen my What to Watch on Netflix video, you need to watch that. Um, I've got a lot of videos going on right now. And um, also, what I was thinking, one person suggested that I do a home tour. So I think I'm gonna do a home tour. Um, but what does everyone, I wanna hear from everybody, what do you want me to do on my channel? What? What ha what what do you want me to do? Is it makeup, hair, home? Um, I just I want to hear from. So put in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, and um, yeah. So and also um, who? Tell me who you like watching. What videos you like watching? Who are your favorite um, beauty or YouTube influencers? I love. Um, the gal Becca, okay, so I did watch one gal that did her hair, um, same hair thing, Becca, do you remember Becca from um, Bachelorette? Anyways, Becca did a hair video, um, and she does the hair and makeup, so um, I think she was one I forgot to mention when I was mentioning my favorite um, YouTubers and bloggers. So, um, okay, that's it. So now, you take out the portion, I'm all done with the bottom now. Take out this top portion. Again, brush it out, brush it out. And again, I like to start at the back. So take this back part here, like that. 
And the back, you do want to go away from your face so that it kind of gives it volume going that way. And, um, and then again, you just take it piece by piece, so easy, and just let it hang down like that. Okay, this one I'll go forward. Um, yeah, so Becca, and then also, okay, also, okay, Becca did a hair video like this. Um, Alana Davison, love her so much, she's Canadian. She did a hair video like this that I loved. And then last but not least, probably the best one, was Jen Atkin. If you don't know who Jen Atkin is, um, hello, she does all the Kardashians hair, but she's amazing. She has hair care line, like I love her, but she did Rosie Huntington White Lake's hair. So definitely watch that one. Okay, and then this last piece, now for the last piece, I do put all the hair in. I don't leave any sticking out of the last one because you want that one. Um, well, you'll see how it goes, turns out. So wait, see that? Love that. Okay, so then you just go to the other side. This is your last piece. How easy is this? Are you kidding me right now? This is so easy. So, okay, that's a little wonky. I'm gonna redo this one because it's wonky. Um, but yeah, that's it. It takes no time at all. It doesn't even take 10 minutes. Are you kidding me right now? And it lasts for days. But you have to use dry shampoo. Okay, I have this dry shampoo. This is Orbe. Love this dry shampoo so much. Actually, at the end, I'm gonna use a little dry shampoo and then a little hairspray to finish it. But um, on your second day, so tomorrow when I wake up, and I'm obviously gonna leave my hair like this, um, all I do is zhuzh it with a little dry shampoo. And um, yeah, that's it. It's so easy. So this will last two, three days um, for sure. Love this look so much. Okay, I'm almost done. Almost on my last one here. Okay, right here. And again, with this last one, I do like to, I don't leave the ends out. On the last two around my face, I curl them all the way in. So let me show you, see that? I don't leave that out, okay. So you go like that. Now again, you don't want McDonald's arches, so don't get all up in here. Nobody likes McDonald's arches. And if you do get them, then you gotta take your flat iron, this baby right here. This is T3, I think I got this at Costco, which, okay, I did a Costco haul. Look at that video. Um, but um, anyways, if if the ends get too curly or wonky, just take this and straighten the ends. Or if you have the McDonald's arches and you don't want them, take your flat iron and straighten it out. I don't think I have that problem today. So, um, okay, that's it. I'm gonna look one more time. Yep, no, I think I'm good. And then all I do is, like I said, I take a little dry shampoo. Now L'Oreal makes dry shampoo too. This is the expensive one. But, um, and I just put it up in there just a little bit because it gives it more, a little more body right there. And then I do my famous, <laughs> I, I forgot what video I got this from, my butterfly wings to zhuzh it out like that. And then you finish it off with your L'Oreal Elnet hairspray, best hairspray in the world. All the professionals use it 100%. Love this so much. And I always lift up a little bit back here at the crown to give it a little body. And then I just finish it off just like that. And voila, you're done. Tousled waves, um, so easy, but you have gotta have the right curling iron. One and a half inch curling iron. This is Hot Tools. Um, T3 makes one too. And until next time, bye.